All right, so a common question I've been getting posting a lot of, um, you know, these sold prices that, that have been happening in the Durham region. So the common question that I'm getting from everybody is, what's gonna happen? Is this market normal? Is it gonna correct? Um, are we gonna see interest rates coming up? Those are the conversations that I'm getting from a lot of my investors. Uh, remember, a lot of them bought, you know, in the three and 400K range, and these properties are selling for a million bucks. So they're saying, Oh boy, like, is this time to sell? Is this, uh, what happens if the market corrects? So um, I'm gonna give you three thoughts as to what I think you should be doing as an investor to protect yourself if you're worried about the market correcting. And I'll tell you now that the one thing I'm not recommending is you sell your property. So one, the first thing is now, as investors are always looking to buy, you gotta be careful if it is the top of the market, you don't wanna be buying at the top of the market. So you need to be really smart with what you're purchasing, um, the areas, the, the style. So um, if it's a quick flip and you think you can get in and out in a month, I might be okay with that. But if you're looking at something where you're leveraging yourself really high, meaning you're getting 95% loan to value and only putting 5% down, those are the people that get, get caught when the market does correct. So you need to be very um, picky with what you purchase if you think the market is gonna correct in the next couple of months. The second thing is look at your loan to value ratios. So look at your portfolio, look at your properties and see what your loan to values are. Some investors that bought in the twos, meaning they, they have a mortgage for 200,000 and a property that's worth say a million bucks, that's a 20% loan to value, meaning really, really low. The number I really like is 65%. 65% loan to value to me is a safe ratio, meaning that the market would have to correct 35% for you to be about even with that loan to value, meaning that if you owe, uh, owed a $650,000 mortgage on a million dollar property, um, you are 65% loan to value. That's the rate that banks currently lend at, at for HELOCs and open variable rate type products. Um, so for them, that's the number they like. I'm okay with that too, saying, great. But if you're more conservative, you know, try to lower that, right? That may mean selling a property um, to balance out your portfolio. Um, if you have one property at say 90% loan to value and two others at 20%, average that out, okay? That doesn't necessarily mean that um, you need to sell that 95% that loan to value. The third and final way is um, be careful with your home equity lines of credit or HELOCs, very common product that investors like to use. And that is the first thing that banks are gonna close up if the market corrects. The banks will tighten credit, so they'll lower um, your credit cards. If you have access to $20,000 on a credit card, they'll lower it to $10,000 without even saying anything to you or giving you not notification. They have that right. Home equity lines of credit are the same way. I have investors that have four, five, uh, $600,000 home equity lines of credit that could disappear overnight. Uh, if the banks feel like things are gonna pull back, that is the first step that they're gonna do. So as an investor, you wanna make sure that you're not overdrawn on that line of credit, that you don't have that, uh, an entire property purchased on a line of credit. If you are, shift it to a different product. You know, ask, you know, talk to a mortgage broker, um, get into a mortgage in that, um, and again, make sure that mortgage has a lot of equity in it or good loan to value ratio so that if it does correct, you um, aren't struggling and you aren't panicking to sell when the market's going down. Remember the strategy for investors, if the market corrects is to survive, is to um, is be able to make sure that you can weather that correction uh, and ideally thrive by having cash or access to cash. There's some people that think there's gonna be an all out crash and go completely into cash. I don't agree with that. Remember, we got into this to be long-term rental house providers, right? That is not gonna change. People will still need to rent, people will still need to live. Um, the rental market is different from the home market. People will still be paying their rent, will still have a job to go to, so you should still be cash flowing even if the value of your property is going down. I hope that video helped. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below or shoot me a message, happy to have a chat about that.